Yo, I'm back again, and this time we're doing the West Ham player ratings. Um, so yeah, straight into it. Nickname the Hammers, bruv. Um, definitely a Premier League team. Um, I think they had the relegation scare last season. I think they did, but obviously their man survived, bruv. Um, obviously I don't have anything against them. They, they are my rivals, though. Like London, London derby and that. Like just just a little thing. But anyway, um, Hammers owner loves the club. I don't know if they have a problem with their owners. I can't even remember, bruv. But anyway. Um, like like I said, bruv, they've been in the league. Then their man, their man got relegated. Um, wait, they they was down there for a season, yeah. Then they got promoted again. Um, Premier League team. Then they got relegated again. Wow. But but ever since two thousand and twelve, their man have been there. Wait, two thousand and eleven. Yeah, eleven twelve season. Their man have just been in there still. Um, highest place that they finished in the league is seventh. Now, speaking about leagues, bruv, these men are fourth right now. You know. Flipping out like fam, man's just looking at my team like wow, man like West Ham are fourth, bruv. It's, it's it's long, fam. It's long still, but anyway, um, getting to the squad, bruv. Lucas Fabianski, um, all the way to Sebastian Haller. Oh, he's not even here no more. They need to update that, but I'm still gonna look at him anyway. Like see what the man were dealing with. Cool, Lucas Fabianski, fam. All right, um, did he used to play for Arsenal? <laughs> he did, bruv. Wow. He actually did as well. And he was there for a long time. He was there for a long time, bruv. Um, and then we let him go for free. Wow. Um, well, I don't think he's that bad right now. In the league, he's probably a decent keeper. Um, let's look at the stats though. 15 agility, 17 reflexes, 15 one-on-ones. Everything that you need from a keeper in terms of stopping shots, he's got it. Now, surprisingly, he's very composed as well. 16 composed is very good. Concentration, 18 as well. He's six foot three. Jump in 15, aerial reach 13. Um, fam, he's looking like a quality goalkeeper, bruv. Definitely Premier League. Um, what's the word? He's, wait, 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 he's 35. Wow, yeah, man. He, he's definitely experienced enough, bruv. He's their number one still. Definitely a quality keeper, fam. Lucas Fabianski. Cool. <clears throat> Next, Darren Randolph. Um, 33 years of age. Back up. Um, all right. 15 agility. 16 reflexes. 14 one-on-ones. Okay, everything that you need once again, he's got it, bruv. Um, baseline one-on-ones, reflexes above average, agility above average. So, everything that you need to do a goalkeeper defending, which is what I always do. I ain't doing no flipping sweeper-keeper, bruv. Goalkeeper defend, and man's got it still. So, yeah, Darren Randolph, nothing really much to say apart from that he's got what you need, fam. Cool. Next, um, David Martin. Um... Yeah, he's 34, emergency backup fam. If it's an emergency, I'm not going to lie, he's not even worth a meal. <laughs> Don't waste your time, he's 34. He's he's a Premier League goalkeeper. No, 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 he's not, no, he's not. Fam, 13 agility, 12 reflexes, 12 one-on-ones. Like, he hasn't got one green. The highest stat is a 14, which is communication. But your command of area is 11, so that's just the biggest contradiction I've ever, ever seen in my life, bruv. It don't make sense. David Martin is dead, fam. He's rubbish still. Can't lie to you. He's whack, bro. Any six foot one for a keeper. Rubbish. Cool. Outfield players now. Um, yeah, outfield players. Angelo Ogbonna. <clears throat> now, no knots and centre back. He's left footed. So, you get me? Anyway, 12, 12, 12, 12, fucking hell, 12 acceleration, 12 agility, 14 pace, um, and 15 strength. So, movement is not that bad. Um, Side to side is a bit sticky. It's a bit of a skinny jeans thing, but he's got a bit of recovery speed. And what I always tell you is that if they step out, which he which he clearly does, he's a stopper, so he steps out. He steps out, he gets fucked, but he, reco- he recovers, bruv. That's what he does. He's got 15 strength, which is above average. Brings ball out of defence. That's his trait now. His pivot is 12 technique, 10 vision, 11 passing with 10 dribbling. To do what, bruv? Brings ball out of defence to do what? To get clamped, bruv. Because that's clearly what's going to happen, fam. And he's got foot in composure. You don't think he's going to release the ball instantly, bruv. If someone presses him, he's going to release it. Fam, he's scared, bruv. When, when man's on the ball. Don't don't try and tell me that he brings ball out of defence. If you have the... Fam, I know you can do it as well. Tell him to stop doing that. If you do manage West Ham, tell him to stop doing that immediately. Because man will just cost you again and again. So, yeah. No notes and centre-back on defend. Or, or, or even cover. Like, 14 paces isn't that bad for a centre-back. Man will do on cover still. Um... That's the way I see it working now. The problem here, though, that I didn't even clock, that is very surprising. He's got 12 tackling and you're a Premier League defender. Nah, bruv, I can't lie. It's not working. It's not going to work. And you're 32 and you got 12 tackling. Fam, it's not working still. Yeah, he's, he's rubbish. He's rubbish, fam. The one thing you need to do to be a no-nonsense centre-back, you can't even do. Whack. 
Safe. <laughs> Safe. Anyway, next, Fabian Barbuena. All right, um, 28 years of age, 11 pace, 12 agility, 12 acceleration, 14 strength. So the physicals aren't that bad in terms of strength, but in terms of movement, it's peak breath. Like, you can't move in it. Like, not at speed, not side to side. He's just there. He's just there, bruv. Now, in terms of passing, 10 technique, 8 vision, 10 passing. Can't can't distribute the ball. He's composed, but that's probably in terms of how he wins the ball, not how he's on the ball. So, um, you definitely do not want to play out from the back with this team right now. From what I've seen so far. Um, now to give him some credit though, he's he's strong, got a little bit of composure there, jumping reach and heading all 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 above. I mean, all average in it, like all average. Now, fifteen tackling, very good, bruv. So he's just gonna kick you and win the ball, and hopefully, when he does win the ball, he can give it to the ball playing defender if they do have one. But if not, just hoof it out. Little Burnley thing, just hoof it out. But overall, um, in terms of just a normal standard win ball defender he, he, he's he got what you need bruv man just stands there you need someone to cover him because he clearly cannot run and that's the only way I see it working so yeah Fabian Babuena not that bad bruv cool next Goncalo Cardoso um, ball playing defender on stopper he's 19 okay because um, he's 19 man can always allow some stats that I see that look very inexperienced but I'll tell you what fam um, it's it's looking like it's a strength thing, like eleven strength, and apart from that, for his age, he's good, bruv. Twelve pace, for energy, twelve acceleration. So the movement isn't really there, but you can see the potential. Now, twelve technique, thirteen vision, twelve passing. The pivot is good, very good pivot for a centre back of that age as well. Fourteen composure for that age, ridiculousnessnessness, bruv. Fam, thirteen tackling as well. That's just under average. He's he's 19. So in four years, he's about to escape the youth bracket. He's got four years to improve that 13 tackling. It's going to happen, bruv. It's going to happen, fam. See, Goncalo Cardoso, um, he, he's a quality defender and, and, it's a, and it's a project as well. So I'll definitely throw, throw him in there, especially if they play a three at the back. I'll throw him in there still. Like, get him some protection and that. Let him get some experience. I'll do it. And he's left-footed as well. He's going for, he's going for money, bruv. Yeah, it's a project still. Goncalo Cardoso, he's a good good defender. Cool. Next is uh, Diop. <clears throat> now, um, 23. I, I, wow, I did not know that, bruv. He's 23 now. Um, let's see if he's learning his lesson in that youth youth thing now. Um, 14 pace, 16 strength, 17 jumping reach, 16 heading. So he's clearly an aerial threat. Clearly. Now, I always tell you anyone that's got dead agility but better recovery speed means that they, they just recover, innit? That's all it means. Um, can't move, not side to side, but in terms of straight line running back, he's got it, bruv. Like, he's got a bit of speed about him now. 11 technique, 9 vision, 10 passing. Not a ball playing defender once again. Um, looking like that Cardoso guy's the ball playing defender. Um, composure, not really there either. Anticipation, all of that is just okay. Nothing special. Now, in the air, he's an aerial threat and he can win the ball. So, he's just that guy. He's like your destroyer of centre backs that you need to win the ball and pass it to the ball playing defender. Literally, and and the thing about him, he's gonna score you a lot of headers. If you know how to do your set pieces, I always do front post um corners. Always do those, bruv. Slap him on the front post. More time is going in. Seventeen jump and reach, and he's six foot four. Are you mad? Like fam, I, I done told you, man, about Hulk, but this time he's black. This is this is part two, bruv. This this guy is Hulk, but this time he's he's black, bruv. That's that's that that's the thing. So yeah, seventeen jump and reach, sixteen heading. Mad thing. So yeah, moving on, moving on. Next, Craig Dawson. Um, 30 years of age no nonsense centre back once again these men do not fuck around bruv that's what I'm seeing there's bare of these no nonsense guys over here bruv um, now centre back or right back don't you dare put him right back in this league are you mad I don't care if he's got 14 tackles don't put him right back please don't do that to him now 11 pace 10 agility 11 acceleration bruv how many times am I going to have to say that man can't run and they can't, bruv. They actually cannot run. Um, he's on loan. Terminate that loan, please. Um, unless, unless you know, if it's a depth thing, I can understand. Not, not for starting though. Anyway, no composure, no movement. He's strong. He's very good in the air, and he can win the ball. And that is about it. He doesn't fear no one but God. The um, the bravery and that um, fam. I can't lie. He's he's literally just strength, aerial ability, and that's about it. Literally. So yeah, Craig Dawson, safe. Next, Ben Johnson. 
20 years of age, fullback, defend. Um, now, 13 pace, 11 agility, 14 acceleration. Because he's young, I can allow that agility and that hopefully it, it does go up, bruv. Hopefully it does now. Nine technique, eight vision, nine passing. Wow. Fam, primary school. Man, he doesn't know how to pass the ball. How can you not know how to pass the ball, bruv? Pass the ball. Like, fam, your, your teammate's right there. You can't pass it to him. It's peak, bruv. No composure as well. Can't dribble, can't cross, but I'm only going to blame that on his age. That's that's the only way I can ever get across this, bruv. Like, fam, 11 dribbling, 11 crossing, I can't lie to you. I'm, I'm trying to see if these guys are lost cause, bruv. I can't lie in three years. This is, is this getting improved dramatically, bruv? I'm trying to see now that he can't, his pivot is dead. Tackling is just under average, so that's going to go up. That, that'll be about 15, 16, but he's looking like he's not allowed to pass the halfway line. Literally, when he grows up, he's not allowed to pass the halfway line. Literally, that's what you're going to have to tell him still. That's the only way I see it working, fam. So, yeah, Ben Johnson, literally wing-back defend. Wing-back defend, full-back defend, no-nonsense full-back. That, that's the ones that you're going to have to do with this guy still. So, yeah, Ben Johnson. Cool. Next, Vladimir Kufel. All right, um, right-back, right-wing-back. Um, 14 pace, 13 agility, 14 acceleration. Um, stamina, balance... All right, so movement clearly is not that bad. Side to side is okay as well, actually. It's not that bad, but he's got a bit of speed about him now. 10 technique, 9 vision, 10 passing. Once again, man cannot pass the ball. And this time he's 27. So you haven't learned your lesson, bruv. I never like people that haven't learned their lessons because they're going to fuck up again. And and again and again, bruv. And it's just going to piss you off. So it, it's peak, bruv. Anyway, not not composed. He can win the ball, though. And, and that's what we're going to have to lick up, with, live off with this guy, bruv. Like, he can win the ball. Like, that's it. You're not allowed to pass the halfway line. Literally. Because if you pass the halfway line, what is he offering you? What, what, 10 first touch, 10 finishing, 9 dribbling, 10 crossing? Are you mad? He ain't offering you shit past the halfway line. And anticipation is dead as well. What anticipation is basically is 50-50s in the air. You know you know them 50-50s in the air where it's either you or me or, or you and him. Who's going to win that? If, 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 if they got higher anticipation, they're going to win it, bro. So I'm, I'm looking at this guy like, wow. You're, you're literally... Not allowed to, like, fam, you're, you're, you're not, see that halfway line? You're not allowed to pass that, and that is all you are, literally. So, yeah, that that's all it is, bruv. Vladimir Kufal, mad. Now, Ryan Fredericks, bruv, um, mad history with this guy in this game. Um, He was so good, bruv. I don't know if he's still good. I haven't used him, but at one point, he was amazing. And, and that's mainly because of the pace, and because it was broken at the time. I don't know if it's still broken now, but at the time, it was broken. This is FM20, I think. So yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna try and use FM20 as a reference, but yeah. Anyway, um pace 17, acceleration 18, agility 15 as well. So movement mad thing. Now, 11 technique, 8 vision, 12 passing. Um the pivot is not that good for a 27-year-old fullback. It's not that good still, can't lie to you. Um tackling just under average. So uh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, tackling not that good either. But um oh yeah, and the composure as well is a bit mad. Now, the, the, the positives that I can give this guy when you do play him wing back, because I think they do play a five at the back, so you already have someone to cover him defensively. Surprisingly, he is six foot three and he's got that pace, bruv. That's mad. Anyway, 14 dribbling, 14 crossing. Um, we're going to have to live off that. Um, Literally, he's a straight line guy. Like He's got the agility and that, but for me, straight line, run down that line and whip the ball. Literally, they can't do a lot of things when, when especially he's got 14 flair as well. Pick up the ball, drive and whip it. That is all I'm asking this guy to do. Literally. That is literally it. Pick up the ball, drive and whip the ball, bruv. Safe. Literally, that's all you need to do, bruv. Cool. Next, Declan Rice, fam. All right. Um, this guy, highly anticipated, bruv. Hi highly anticipated, bruv. Like, fam, for his age to be, to be fucking up, to be possessing composure like this, 17 composure at 21, fam. Madness, best believe in this game. Madness, bruv. 16 stamina, natural fitness. So, the physicals surprisingly, strength is only 13. I don't know if I can agree with that. It, it might have to be a bit higher than that. Still, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, strength is a bit mad, but physicals they're they're all calm in it. They're calm physicals for a DM now. 12 technique, 12 vision, 13 passing. They're basically saying someone that's a very good passer in real life cannot pass the ball. Like, I don't agree with this pivot at all. I can't lie to you. Um, 13, 13 passings, no execution at all. 
Like that that's that's shocking still. They've done him dirty with that pivot still. Now, work rate fifteen, tackling sixteen. Um he's literally according to this game, he's just a destroyer. Like runs runs around, kicks man's legs, wins the ball, passes it to a real playmaker. But this guy, he's got good passing. But anyway, composure, fam, he can beat the press, fam. That's one thing that a lot of DMs cannot do, but he can, fam. Got a little bit of dribbling there as well. What's the flair? Ten, not really, but the the main thing about this guy is a DM that can beat the press. That's probably why Chelsea wanted him. Man can beat the press with ease, bruv. Determined as well. Overall, he is he is a good player, but some of these stats I can't agree with them. I can't agree with them still. Um oh yeah, quite a versatile centre back and centre mid as well. Yeah, but anyway, um that's Declan Rice, bruv. Mad thing. Cool. Next, Aaron Cresswell. Um this guy, this this free kick madness, bruv. This this is the this is the free kick guy, isn't it? I think it is, bruv. Um, free kick taking 14, nice. Definitely him. Definitely. Anyway, left back or centre back. Um, I know what they're doing with this with this guy. Anyway, 14 pace, 14 acceleration. So he's moving up and down, but not side to side because the the agility is dead, bruv. The agility is dead. Anyway, 13 technique, nine vision, 12 passing. Um. Can't really see what he's doing, but the technique and the passing is just okay. But he's thirty anyway, so clearly he hasn't really done his thing really in that in that in that department. But anyway, he's a left back with twelve tackling, not good enough. He's a full back attack though, so I can allow that. Now, now that I've seen that, I can allow it now. Um, fourteen composure, thirteen dribbling, and fifteen crossing. Literally, gonna have to turn him from full back attack to support and just target the crossing. Literally, um, tell my man. Get into these areas, cross it from deep because you can't really cross it from deep when you're on fullback attack. Because when you're on fullback attack, they ask you to get to the byline. I don't really want him getting to the byline that much because his tackling isn't that good and the the recovery is going to be a bit mad still. So as long as he's in a position where he's just whipping balls constantly, playing to the strengths, bruv, I don't mind, fam. And and you already know um the 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 other thing about this guy, he, his free kicks are mad, bruv. Like set pieces, mad thing. So got that in his locker as well, Aaron Cresswell. They can put him centre back as well. Um, with that, with that twelve tackling, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But maybe in real life, it's a different thing. So yeah, Aaron Cresswell, he's not bad at all. Still, cool. Next, um, Afa Masua, cool. All right, um, left back again. Um, I think they play them at the same time. One, one's a left back, one's a left centre back. If they do a back three, I think he's the left wing back. Um, yeah, yeah. I think this guy's a left wing back, so I can see it already now. 15 pace, 15 agility, 16 acceleration. You already know me, I've got a pace agenda. You know this, bruv. Um, he he can move at speed. One thing that I'll never, ever, ever forget, bruv. He can, he can move at speed. 14 dribbling, 15 flare. So, best believe, man are, getting, man are getting roasted, bruv, on that wing. Like, he can actually take that whole flank in terms of offensively. However, defensively, it's peak, bruv. 11 composure. 11 tackling, bruv. Fam, it's peak, bruv. What's the marking? 11 as well. They done him dirty with the tackling. Still, he's probably not even that good at tackling. But going forward, you might have to change him to an actual winger because he's not that bad going forward. Obviously, he can't finish on that. Long shots aren't that bad for for a defender. Dribbling is good. Flair is very good. So, best believe going forward, he's gonna be a problem, fam. He's gonna be a problem for a lot of guys. Arthur Masuaku, definitely, definitely a good left wing back still. So yeah. Cool. Next, um, Mark Noble. Mark Noble, bruv. Wow. Um, <clears throat> uh, he's he's probably had bare appearances in the league now. Man's catching Gareth Barry and that. He probably has. That's my that's my estimation. Anyway, um, he's a deep plan playmaker. Um, both both deep plan playmakers now. Ten pace, nine acceleration. Um, twelve agility, sixteen balance. So physically and and eleven strength as well. Yeah, physically they're saying that he's not that good. Still, they're saying he's balanced, but that's about it, fam. Cool. Um, now. 13 technique, 14 vision, 14 passing. The pivot is okay. Like, it's okay, in it? Just okay. The technique isn't really there, but he's got vision and passing. It's calm. He can win the ball very well. He works hard and he's aggressive. So, in the midfield, he's moving like a... I don't know how to say it, bruv, but... Not really a destroyer, but it's it's kind of like a destroyer. It's, it's, it's a weird one still. Can't really dictate tempo. The passing is kind of their composure as well. Um... Now I would I would have expected to see that dictate tempo stat, can't lie to you. Um comes deep to get ball, yeah. He's crying out for that stat. I mean that that trait still. Give it to him. I think you can. They're probably gonna say it's too late in his career, but if you if you have the ability to do it, then do it in it. Teamwork twenty, leadership nineteen, 
yeah, he's one of those guys. Uh, for me, in terms of like ability and that, he's not that bad, but I still wouldn't really play him. But I'll definitely keep him. I wouldn't even sell him. He's one of those West Ham through and through guys. I'll definitely keep him, but just not really play him still. That, that's my honest opinion still. Mark Noble, bruv. Cool. Next, Thomas Shuchek, bruv. This guy's a tank, bruv. Tank, absolute tank. Um, I, I, I don't know why this guy's so good, bruv, but fam, anyway. 16 strength, 16 st- stamina, natural fitness, jump and reach, all of that. Now, the thing that makes this guy so special is that he's a normal box-to-box, but he's... Okay, he's not a normal box How How can I say it? He's a box of box, but because of his height, like he he's just different in it. Like he's how do I how, how do I explain it? Like you see, like Malinkovic Savage. Now I'm not comparing them in terms of technical ability and that, but he's very reminiscent in terms of the fact that he's like a normal midfielder, but he's just towering over everyone, bruv. That's that's why I call him like Malinkovic Savage because in 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 set pieces and that he's a, he's a problem, bruv. Like 17 jumping reach, 16 heading, like fam, mad thing now. The thing about him, when the ball's on the floor, it's looking a bit peak still. 12 technique, 10 vision, 12 passing. According to this game, when the ball's on the floor, he's pretty much useless. But, and, and I'm surprised that he's only got 13 tackling as well. But anyway, um, composure, 13. The thing about this guy, he actually knows where the goal is on the floor, which is very surprising, bruv. Like, fam, he, he can shoot, bruv. 14 finishing, that's very good. That's that's better than a lot of strikers out there still, Um. He knows where the goal. He's going to get a lot of goals, bruv. He's, he's definitely a threat still. Definitely a threat. Like, I'll definitely fear someone like this. I'll definitely use someone like this as well. So, yeah. Um, Thomas Suchek, bruv. Threat, fam. He's a threat. Decision 16 as well. Yeah, he's a threat still. Definitely a threat. Cool. Next. Mikel. Wow, wow, wow. Mikel Antonio. Yeah, this guy. Madness. Absolute madness, bruv. Fam. I, I can't believe how one, one man can be, you know. I saw this guy make someone like flip. Who was it from Norwich? I mean, not Norwich. Flipping West Brom. He made them fly like a like a Tesco bag. It was peak, bruv. Like fam, Mikko Antonio's. He's fucking wham, bruv. He's fucking wham. I can't lie. He's fucking wham. Anyway, let's see what the the stats have said now. Thirteen technique, ten vision, eleven passing. Um, man is saying he can't pass the ball. It's peak. Like he cannot pass the ball at all. It is peak, bruv. Anyway, fourteen work. He's one of those guys. Knocks ball past the opponent. I can already tell. I can already tell, bruv. 15, 15 pace, 14 agility, 15 acceleration, 16 strength. Physically, he's amazing. Like I just said, anyway. 12 finishing. Mad thing. I didn't know the finishing was that bad, bruv. Like, wow. But he's dribbling, basically saying that he can run at people. But um, in terms of creating chances for other people, because they do say pressing forward is basically an advanced forward that runs at people. That's literally all it is. So he can create chances for himself. But in terms of other people creating chances for him. 12 finishing and 12 composure is not the greatest. I can't lie. In terms of this game, that that is a bad combination. And the first touch is 12 as well. It's just bouncing all over the gaff, bruv. It's peak, fam. It's peak. Um, Heading 15, jump and reach 12. You need to jump to get the wall on your head. But anyway, um, long throws, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, In terms of like creating chances for himself, he's not that bad. But when chances are created for him by other people, it's peak, bruv. Literally, so yeah. Um, but Mikel Antonio, definitely a threat though. Definitely another threat. Physically, this team is going to be a madness fam in terms of offensively. Like, madness, bruv. Cool. That's why these men are so high. I almost forgot to say, bruv. He is very underrated, by the way. Like, let me just put that in one. Fucking hell. Let me just put that one in, bruv. Like, fam, very underrated. Very underrated, bruv. Like, when he, he banged like four goals in one match the other day. Yeah, he, he's very underrated still. Robert Snodgrass is next though. Um, right winger, left winger. Um, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I just looked at that pace and I, I'm I'm shocked, bruv. I can't lie to you, I'm shocked, bruv. Eleven pace on the wing. How dare you? How dare you? Don't don't do that to yourself, bruv. Thirteen technique, thirteen vision, thirteen passing. Fam. Um, no, the pivot is not that bad, but he can win the ball slightly as well. Anyway, from when you're on the wing. And you've got 11 pace, 11 agility, 11 acceleration. You you can't play on the wing, bruv. You actually can't, not in this league. Because I have to look at your pivot to see, okay, cool. If he's not running, what is he offering me? It's a basic pivot, bruv. It's not. It's nothing special. Like, he can cross in that, but well done, fam. It's, not, it's nothing special still. Robert Snodgrass, I can't lie, he's not cut for this league anymore. He probably was at one point, but fam, he needs to let it go. Hang up the boots in this league or move like a couple, couple leagues down or something. Because fam... 
No pace, bruv. You need mobility. What's his composure? Just to just to rub salt into the wound, bruv. I mean, uh, yeah, 12, 12 composure. Yeah, he can't even shield the ball that well as well. Yeah, Robert Snodgrass, it's long, bruv. The audacity, the audacity bruv. To, to play man on the wing, don't do it to yourself. Thank you. Next, Jared Bowen. Absolute tank, bruv. This guy, madness. Such a baller. Such a baller. 12 technique for Envision 14 passing. He can do the basics. Can't believe what I'm seeing. He can actually do the basics. He can pass the ball. Thank God. He's 23 as well. This man was from... Um, I forgot what team it was. Yeah, ho, ho, I remember. Fam, he can do the basics in it. Like, that's, that's one thing that I can say about this guy. He can do the basics. Now, works very hard. Not really aggressive, but he works really hard. Determined as well. Now, what's the flair? 14, not that bad. 14 pace, 15 agility, 14 acceleration. So he's definitely moving. Definitely moving. He's a right winger that can cut in. He's a cam as well. And he's a left winger. Um, dribbling, very good. Like he can pick up the ball. He can drive, make defenses frightened and that. Like very, very, very important player. Um, but the thing about this guy, 15 finishing, he knows where the goal is comfortably. Comfortably knows where the goal is. He's going to bang a lot of goals, bruv. Depending on the system that you play, he's banging a lot of goals, even in real life. He's getting goals, bruv. Like, he knows where the goal is comfortably as well. Um, I remember who was it that he absolutely took there. So, I think it was Alex Telles, fam. He just t sent man to the... Fam. He, fam, that... Oh, man. He, it, it, yeah, it was Alex Telles. It was Alex Telles, I remember. Because it was that zebra kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's sent man. Differently, bruv. This guy, rude, 23. Madness, bruv. Jared Bowen, definitely a baller. Um, yeah, baller still. Next, Pablo Fornaus. Um... I don't know if he's really lived up to what these man thought he would be. I can't lie to you. What I thought he would be in this league as well. Hasn't really lived up to it. But um, in, according to the stats though, in terms of like a creative player, he's not that bad, bruv. Um, obviously, there's still a couple of things that I can see why he's not done it in real life in these stats. I'm, I'm going to explain them in a minute. But yeah, 12 pace, 15 agility, 12 acceleration. Um, now, um, with, that, with that pace and you're playing on the wing, can't lie to you. What are you offering me? And, and to be fair, he can actually offer me something. In terms of the pivot, 15 technique, 15 vision, 15 passing, he can move the ball from out wide, bruv. Like, I always compare them man to ZH, bruv. I don't know why. Like, it's always a ZH comparison whenever someone that's not fast can have have a good pivot and that I always compare to ZH, yeah. So, um, um, yeah, literally, he can actually offer me something out wide with, without running. That's, that's one thing. But, can't dribble. And he's a cam. Very, I mean, and he's a winger. Very weird, bruv. Now, we're going to have to shift him from that winger position and put him in the midfield. Now, if I do put him in the midfield, he's got 14 tackling. 14 tackling, bruv. Um, so, he's left. He's definitely looking like a midfield, not even a cam. Because if you do put him cam as well, he's got 12 decisions, bruv. He's got 12 decisions. You can't be having 12 decisions in that cam position. Like, yeah. So, in the midfield now, I can see him being a little... Mis even even box to box, Mazella box to box. Um one of those guys, even can I can I do I dare say deep plan playmaker? Um no 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 I actually want these stats going forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So either an advanced playmaker, Mazella or box to box, those are the ways that I can see it working. Reason being, he's not the fastest, but he's moving side to side. Perfect for someone that's in the midfield. He he's he's not really good at dribbling, so he's gonna just be a first first pass. Like, you know them one touch passes? He's got those bro. 14 technique and win the ball as well. Win the ball and distribute it. That's one thing that you need. And his first touch is very silky. Very silky. He's got a bit of flair about him as well. So overall, in the midfield, Mazella moving forward with the ball. He can carry the ball, but he can't really dribble with it. So um, you're definitely going to need someone next to him. So yeah, overall though, Pablo Fornals, bruv. Definitely, there's a player in there, in it. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. There's definitely a player in there still. So yeah. Cool. Next, um, Andriy Yarmolenko. Okay, um, right winger. Um, typically, right wingers aren't this tall, but this guy's six foot two. Madness. Um, to put it into perspective, you've got a six foot three right wing back and a six foot two right winger. If you're if you're a full back, you're seeing that you're gonna be like fucking hell, bruv. These man, these man are towering, fam. Anyway, fourteen pace, thirteen agility, twelve acceleration. So, in terms of getting to his print speed quite quickly, he can't really do that. In terms of moving side to side, he can't really do that either. Now. Um, 16 technique, 14 vision, 12 passing. Um, he's got he hasn't got execution, but he's got very very good technique, and he can see what he's doing. Um, so that's always two good things. Now, with this guy now, um, 
If I was the manager, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I would actually have to try and put him striker. Reason being, on the on the wing, um, I do like explosiveness. Like, I do like acceleration in it. Like, acceleration is very important because if someone, like, kicks the ball and runs, I kind of want them to keep up with that speed immediately and get to that pace immediately in it. And it's going to take him a couple weeks to get to that pace. So, more time he might lose the ball still. So... If you have someone that's got better acceleration, it's, it's better ideal for the wing. Now, if you put him striker now, let me let me fight my case, bruv. Now, if you put him striker, four in pace, um, it's okay. Let me let me think now. The the pivot, sixteen technique, four in vision, twelve passing. He can definitely link. Let me think. False nine, false nine. Yeah, false nine still. Reason why I put in false nine, dribbling is very good. Pivot is okay in it, so he can definitely link play. He'll be a perfect link, perfect link, bruv. Like. He's got height as well. Surprisingly, not that strong, but strength, not not really that much of a big deal. He knows where the goal is. His first touch is very good. Those those are the things why I'll put him striker because, well, false nine anyway. It's basically like a cam striker. Like, fam, put him there. Dribbling, he can dribble his way out of sticky situations, bruv. Definitely create chances for himself and finish off those chances. If chances are created for him by other people, he can do a little thing with those as well. 13 composure is better than 12. 14 finishing is saying that he knows where the goal is, bruv. 16 first touch as well. And he's got a bit of flair. So some defenders are absolutely going to get roasted as well, bruv. Yeah, for me, false nine, fam. That's the best way that I can see it happening, fam. False nine for this guy. That's definitely the way I see it happening still. So yeah, Andrew Yamalenko, false nine, bruv. Cool. Next, um, Manuel Lanzini. Shout out fucking, who was it? Tottenham, bruv. Safe. Um, that that was a beautiful goal, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Um, obviously it's not my team and that, but it was a beautiful goal, literally. Anyway, sixteen technique, thirteen vision, thirteen passing. Um, that is shocking for someone like this that I'm expecting to be like a creator. His pivot is dead. That is shocking, bruv. Wow. Um, they they've either done him dirty or he's just not that good, bruv. Now, fourteen pace, fourteen agility, fifteen acceleration. Um, now. Um, now that's actually good movement that is very good movement like his movement's good was his off the ball 14 yeah movement is good 15 dribbling so he's definitely picking up ball he's driving first touch is 15 as well so there's definitely silkiness in there flare 15 as well silkiness in there 16 technique 6 f- fucking hell 16 technique also meaning that there's silkiness in there the problem with this guy now he has got no execution on his pass Nothing, no no eye of the needle pass, no, no brilliant finishing. Fam, in terms of end product, he's not that good. He's looking like a ball carrier. Literally, he is a ball carrier. He's going to pick up the ball from where, wherever, because these guys usually roam around. Pick up the ball from whenever, dry with it, go forward. But when it comes to that final ball, it's a fluke thing. Like He's going to have to fluke it still because he clearly can't really do it comfortably. So yeah, and he's 27 as well for me. As a cam, not good enough still. But that's the only position that he can play. Unless you put him out wide. Can he actually play out wide? He's got decent pace, decent movement. Yeah, he's looking like a winger. Yeah. I'm going to have to put him out wide still. Um, Left wing. Let him cut inside. Literally, because in the middle, he hasn't really got that final ball. Like, I like my cam to have final balls. He hasn't got that. So, as a winger, it will definitely be more suited to him. Manuel Lanzini is definitely a left winger for me still. Cool. Next, so I'm going to save Ben Ram. I'm going to save him. Next, Hala. Um, this guy, he's not even at West Ham no more. I don't think I really need to do this because I, I remember that miss that he did against Man United. Shocking. These times, I was celebrating when, when they were losing and that fam. Sebastian Hala, shocking player. He's at Ajax now, I believe. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. He's not that good. So I can't even be asked, bro. Sayed Ben Ramado. All right. Now, I'm surprised my team didn't go in for him. West Ham did. That that just shows you the level, bruv. That's why them man are fourth and we're tenth, bruv. Because fam, man, man went with action, bruv. He's a quality player, this Ben Rama, you, you know. 14 pace, 15 agility, 14 acceleration. So movement is there. 18 flair. And then you're telling me about taking soul. This guy will take your soul, bruv. This guy will take your soul. 18 flair, man's flicking it over your head, putting it through your legs. It's peak, bruv. He's 24 as well. It's mad now. Mad. 15 technique, 13 vision, 13 passing. Definitely a winger. Definitely a winger, bruv. Kind of knows where the goal is. Kind of composure as well. There's only a couple things like the anticipation, bravery, concentration decisions. Those are kind of poor, but he is from the championship. So you're going to have to give him some time to adapt, bruv. Um, Now, in terms of developing this guy, 
Left winger, he can definitely do a job. Tell him to improve the finishing a bit because I can definitely see him doing that. It's either you choose between the finishing or the or the or the passing. You can either make him a creative guy or a sniper. It's up to you, bruv. For me, I will make him a creator still. Um actually you know what? I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, creator, creator, creator. I'll make him a creator still. Um Flair. He is he's screaming creator all over. He's got good crossing as well. Yeah, definitely a creator. Said Ben Rama. That number nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a creator. So yeah. Um now I'm gonna give these guys a rating. Out of five. Um I don't know if I should do it out of ten or five. I'm gonna do five still, because that's what the ratings are in this game anyway. Out of five, I'll give West Ham a three point five. Definitely a Premier League team. Been here for a very long time. Um them and there. Um trying to think, have I ever come across these guys? Obviously I have, I've done many saves, but I'm trying to think. Are there any broken players in this team? It has to be like Mikhail Antonio and Thomas Suchek still. Their man, their madness. Um, oh, oh yeah, and who was it? That right back, Ryan Fredericks, madness as well. Declan Rice is obviously a good player. I'm interested to see what Ben Rahm is like. Yarmolenko, false nine. I, I definitely want to see that work as well. Definitely. Jared Bowen is just ridiculous, bruv. So yeah, you man, um, that is West Ham, bruv. Um, if you've got any more suggestions, put it in the comments section below. So yeah, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the content you know what takes bet from me and I'll see you man next episode.